bit of a test here. We're just gonna play some Minecraft. Go into uh, our server. And um, we're gonna play around a bit. Here, I'm trying to make an automatic uh, tree farm because they took the forestry mod out of Tech It. Except these, uh, you know, Buildcraft is different now, so you can't use the traditional Buildcraft version of this sort of thing, which itself is complicated. This is pretty much a setup of the old version of Buildcraft's automatic tree farm, where you would have these uh, fillers here. You got this one laying down the dirt, and then that one over there lays down the saplings on top of the dirt when it's available. And you have it set up on a timer and such so that that goes out, fills up the trees, it gives time for the trees to grow. And then uh, after a while, it decides to switch to this one, which clears out the whole area. Ground, sapling, trees, leaves, all of it. And uh, then goes up there. The la second to last block, it would uh, clear out a torch, which would be sitting right there. Which would shut off the, the filler that's clearing everything out. It does that because when a filler fills up everything that it can, or takes out everything that it can, it um, it stops. Like uh, it, you have to go and manually reset it. So that's also why the dirt filler and the sapling filler will only fill up to everything except for that last block. This would be all fine and dandy, except now these fillers need to be powered by buildcraft power. It used to be that you could just run redstone power into them and they'd go, which made it all nice and easy. The thing is with the buildcraft power is it's always on. You see that little blue line there? And you see this doing nothing? <laughs> it's just sitting there roasting through whatever energy I'm pumping into it. And so this is running off of the main line, whatnot. So. I tried to have it set up where uh, these things, these are energy links, they convert from uh, industrial craft power, which I have running into these battery boxes, into build craft power. And I'm using the industrial craft power because you can run these splitter cables here. And if they receive power, they shut off. They don't let energy go through. So that achieves the goal of, you notice, there's no... Oh, whoops. Well, there's certainly not now, but even, uh, even when this is hooked up, there's no power going into there at all, whereas there, there is there, because there's no redstone going to there. These, these splitter cables are quirky. I had, you have to come in with redstone wire, not red alloy wire. Is that what it's called? Yeah, red alloy wire. And you have to come in just like this. So, otherwise it doesn't work, at least in this configuration. And, uh, that's very cumbersome. And I left it here like this because it basically works most, I mean, if I remember correctly, it basically works. So let's switch it to, see now we've got the filler that, uh, this one should be destroying these blocks now. Oh no, because it has to be manually reset. Okay, so we'll put the the torch back in here. Can I reach it from here? No. Okay. Anyway, so oh, whoa, whoa. That was a close one, I guess. 
Uh, yeah, so falling, not good. Anyway, we'll put the torch back into this filler. Now it already has one in it. Why hasn't it... See, it should have put its torch out there. What am I doing wrong? Oh, there's no... No power being pumped into this thing. Let's see if I have just a little bit in my back. Oh, yeah. That'll work. No, wait. Oh! It's receiving power somehow. Which didn't didn't really want it to. I keep throwing stuff on the ground. Why do I do that? How is that not... Okay, yeah, see, like I said, you had to have just that specific configuration. So there should be a torch out there? There it is. It's all very baffling. So now... What? Oh yeah, so now we manually reset this because before I didn't have the torch going, so in order to manually reset it, you have to do that. And now this ought to... Oh, would you look at that? I have an email. It ought to be destroying all these blocks. Only it's not getting power now. Why is it not getting power? Oh, okay. That thing is... Okay, so now... That is a stand-in for the timer. Which will switch between these. And it's still not working. Should be getting power here. What is wrong? <laughs> I can't even tell what's wrong here. So... I guess we should check that this is still hooked up. Maybe somebody was messing with me. It looks like this is still hooked up. Yeah. This line sending any power through? No power being run through this thing at all. Oh, what am I doing? Okay. Let's get up and out of here. Is there still power running along our... This is our main electric line. This is our power grid, basically. Good example of it here is, uh not where I remembered it to be. <laughs> Let's... Oh, here. Here it is. See, this is Andy's thing. He's drawing power off the main line through there and then giving power back to the power grid here. Which he generously uh, adds more in than he takes out. And I uh, take more than I put in. But that's because I'm... St I haven't built up my own power source all that much. Oh, hello. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, chainsaw is good for that. So, we will go back here and just wonder what in the world is not happening. Somehow, oh. It's getting a little bit of power, but I guess since it's, I guess since it's nighttime and most of our stuff runs off of solar power, it's not getting enough. I can check that though. Might want to eat. Whoops. There. Because down here. This is my bat box off the main line, and it's freaking full. It's full. There should be ample power. Forty-five EU per day. 
That's weird, because these things go at 32. So, there should be plenty of power going through. Maybe if I bop that thing off. I really want this to be coming off with a battery box, but, um, I haven't made it yet. So we've got power going in each of these. Okay, for the sake of demonstration, I will destroy that. We should have all of our power coming off the main line. Nine EU per tick. I have no idea if that's enough because of the way the conversion between build craft and industrial craft power. Oh, that's not good. Ah! Okay. I will just, uh... Just go back up. I guess it's not even quite daytime yet. I don't have a clock. I don't know how long that's going to last. Oh, yep. It actually... Look at that, it already did everything. We don't even get to see it. So, it... Seems to have, uh... Done everything except for... Shut this off. But it should have... This should be on. There's some kind of... Some kind of lag or something. I'm not quite sure how that's still getting power. This should not be getting power. Because that torch went out. Some buggy thing I'll have to deal with. But, uh, yeah, so then... It'll come down here, all this stuff will get pumped back to where it should go. And then we will, uh... This should have enough power to do it. So, we'll simulate the pumps that aren't here by just popping these in. And... I guess it's not getting enough power. Yeah. Then that would fill in. But you know what? Look at that. All the juice is going up to that one torch thing. Which doesn't even have a torch in it right now. But yeah, there's a reason why I kind of... Left that be the last time I was playing. Was because... It's at a frustrating point where I need to set up all kinds of timers and things much more complicated than I thought it was going to be. And uh, I suppose I'd rather just come over here and tap some, uh, some sap out of these trees. Because you can never have too much rubber. See, I want it to be a rubber tree farm. That way I'd have all the wood I needed... You know, for any random project I wanted to do. I have all the rubber that I'd need, because it would just... It would just go on its own, gathering up all kinds of rubber and wood and replanting itself and then going again. All this while I'm not even, uh, not even playing. So then I could just come and I wouldn't have to go gather all of these things. But for now, I have to do it all manually. Even though I have all these nice machines. It's still manual. <laughs> but that'll be it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.